All right, so there's been a lot of talk about the new Beyblades coming out, and that's, of course, the new Spriggan and the new Achilles. And today I wanted to talk about the new Spriggan that's coming out. And, of course, some of you may or may not have seen the leaked images already. And, uh, it, you know, beyond that, uh, what I wanted to talk about was maybe some of the features that we want, or perhaps I want, to see on these new layers if they're gonna go back to the first few generations of burst and kind of remake those features and that same feel that we all love then that means they're gonna have to recreate those same characteristics of those Beyblades just as we've seen with Brave Valkyrie Brave and its nice six blades is reminiscent of Genesis Valtriac and as well of Valtriac V2 and now, of course, with Luanor, or Longinus, being Rage Longinus, and its combination of all of the Longinuses, and I, I think that's really amazing that they have done this. And so, coming forward now to Spriggan, of which I think it really should have that left-right feature, without having to have two different Beyblades purchased, just as we have with the new Diabolos. Of which I haven't gotten yet. Uh, we'll see. Maybe by Christmas time. And we are waiting for the new dragon. That's going to be epic, I think. The Sparking Dragon, Tempest Dragon. Another cool feature that we would love to see is, of course, the integration of that rubber. The new Spriggan should be something amazing. Now, will it overpower everything again? That is a good question. Will we see a Dash Zeta driver? That'd be kind of cool. But how likely is it? We don't know. We have to wait and find out. Achilles? If Achilles, because he is obviously back. If you haven't seen already episode 20, you could see him. He, you could see Iger. He is back. And he is out for revenge, man. We just saw our boy captain you know I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody but he lost to lane and it's not cool man and so our boy Iger is just like no 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 I'm coming for you so I wonder what his bay is gonna look like we have no idea yet but I am betting that it it will be rival if not better than the new surprising but that's just me and that's what I think, and I wonder, and I really hope anyway. I think that Cognite would be an awesome bay or Alter Kronos. For him to come back, some people say that Kuza is not necessarily a, a good character or anything like that. But you know what? They were good friends. Vault and him were really good friends. And if Silas is back, I feel like going back through Evolution and having all those Beyblades show up again would be such a cool... Uh, Nostalgia trip to see Kuza with you know a sparking Ultra Chronos to see oh my god a maximum Garuda sparking Beyblade like dude that'd be crazy crazy who else come on you guys there, there, there's other Beys to see a sparking Balkesh to see our return of Boa dude I think he was a very underrated guy if not just the Beyblade anyways. That Beyblade could still hang on to lots of the matches even now. A return of the Requiem project would be something amazing. To see the return of Shadow Beyblades and perhaps one of the main characters going evil. I mean, you never know. Having Lane or Leon Valhalla be in the Requiem project just to get more power, or even if Gwyn went through it just to get more power that would be something of an arc but only time will tell what we will see let me know what you guys think i mean this is bordering on my beyblade theories and i know i've been loafing on my last one or the newest one that should come up and that is can we beyblade in space i do want to thank you and let me know what you think man and as always have some fun out there and let it rip